Yo! What up, everybody? Cardboard Moes is what you're welcome. Time for another lovely day of eBay breaks. We're going to go ahead and start off with 2018 Phoenix Football 8 box inner case number 7 for eBay. Boom! And as you'll notice, uh, I try to put the title up on the videos, or on the screen anyway, so you know what's up. I know it's, it's, it's probably small. If you're watching on a phone, probably can't see it. Let me go grab that case. Let me grab the stuff. Aaron, that's not up to me, man. You know this. All right, Fabrice, have a good one, man. Thank you for stopping by, saying what's up. Ha! Nice, Jacob. Yeah, for sure. You can you can gladly have a hamburger today, and pay for me, pay it for you know, pay for it tomorrow. Not. And by the way, if you guys want to get some more gold label action. I know these are eBay breaks, but uh, check out our website, ripcitycards.com. We have uh, more of this lovely, lovely uh, gold label stuff. Uh, check it out. Here's our website, ripcitycards.com. New customers save $15 on their first purchase. And we got all types of loveliness. We already have uh, some new upcoming products. This Archives Baseball releases on the, uh, actually, I believe it comes out tomorrow. We already have it in the store. Check that out. We also got some Prism Football. That comes out on Friday already in the store. Check that out. I got personal boxes of Archives Retired Player. Uh, signature Series. Guaranteed autographs per box. Contenders Draft Picks. Personal box uh, for baseball. Phoenix Football. Five Star Baseball. And as you can see here, Tops Gold Label. But I got full case breaks. Not a half case, because this is where, what I'm doing right now. It's a half case for uh, for eBay. Well, actually, this is next, the gold label. What I got going on now is Phoenix, but same situation. I have more 8-box eight, uh, inner cases right here, if you want to check it out. And, as always, new customers do save uh, $15 on their first purchase. All you have to do is register for an account. Now, I got ahead of myself and I brought the gold label, but what we need is Phoenix, so let me grab that. <coughs> Alright, so here's the Phoenix. And, uh, you know, a few things about our website. We do offer a $100 giveaway every day. Uh, we don't do any giveaways with eBay. We only do giveaways through our website. Uh, in order to enter the $100 giveaway, all you have to do is uh, buy, buy something in the store. Plain and simple. Uh, Jacob, to be honest, man, I, I can't really look into the future, buddy. What I can tell you though is we do record all of uh, all of the breaks, and they are all uploaded to our YouTube channel. 
So if you can't stick around, you can always, you know, come back and uh, check our channel. Videos will get uploaded after the eBay breaks are done. Um, I would say probably half an hour until I do gold label number 10, which is the next break right after this. But again, we do record and upload all of our breaks to our YouTube channel. So if you can't stick around and watch because you have something better to do, like go to some World Series party, whatever that means. You'd rather go to a party than watch this break? Shame on you. Shame, 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 shame. Boston Schmoston. I don't want to hear it. I should be your number one priority. Not the Red Sox. Not, you know, not the wife and the kids. And, and no, no. Uncle Jesse comes first. Or at least lie to me. No, it made me feel better. Well, you know, I will be honest to my Red Sox fans out there. I do not have a horse in that race, so I could really care less who wins the World Series. But if, and I know nobody asked me, but I'm going to root for the Dodgers, man. I am going to root for the Dodgers. Actually, no, Jacob, you would be dead wrong. I'm a Marlins fan. I'm from Miami, baby. Miami, Florida. I rep all my Florida teams. The Marlins, the Heat, the Dolphins. But I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not a big baseball fan. I don't really watch baseball. Uh, I try to catch the World Series, the playoffs and stuff like that, because that, that's always fun to watch. But yeah, dude, I'm not, I'm not really too big into baseball. Um, you know, not, not really my cup of tea. Nick Chubb, patch for the Browns. You know, I'd rather see dudes knock each other out. Or, you know, see dudes get dunked on. Not really a fan of uh, some dude throwing the ball really fast. Duke Dawson Patriots to win tonight, but I can appreciate the art. And you know, I will be rooting for the Dodgers because the Dodgers haven't won a, a World Series since before I was born. The Red Sox won a World Series of like ten years ago or something like that. So I always like to root for the underdog. Therefore, in this situation, I would think the Red Sox are the favorite. I think they have home field advantage, too. So, therefore, I will be rooting for the Dodgers. Nothing personal. I just always root for the underdog. Like the Red Sox a few years ago, when they were, you know, when they were going up against the, the Yankees, when they won their first World Series in God knows how long, I was rooting for the Red Sox. So, you're welcome, Jacob. I'm the reason why you guys won that World Series all those years ago. Because of me. Because I was rooting for you. So, you're welcome. All right, Royce Freeman Broncos rookie patch auto right there to 99. But if I had to choose between the Yankees or the Red Sox, I would choose the Red Sox. I'm not even going to lie to you. Bradley Chubb, Broncos 299. Marquise Goodwin 199 Niners. But, you know, the Dodgers, dude, they haven't won a World Series, I think, since 88. So... I would like for them to win one. Red Sox are going to be just fine. They are. They're stacked. And they're young. Melvin Gordon to 149 Chargers. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing about the Dodgers. Is Kershaw always chokes when you need him the most. Marshawn Lynch of the Raiders to 299. Gray Sanders, Lions 299. Yeah, I know Machado and Chris Sale got some beef because of the uh, the Dustin Pedroia incident, I think, earlier this season. Or last year, maybe. Josh Allen, 149 Bills. I slightly recall something like that with uh, Machado and uh, Pedroia going at it. And then Chris Sale throwing pitches behind Machado or something like that. I don't know. It, it's always something with those unwritten rules of baseball. Rashad Penny, 299 Seahawks. AJ McCarron, 99 Bills. Tony Gonzalez, 199 Chiefs. 
We got Devontae Adams, 199 Packers. Frank Gore, 299 Dolphins. Kiki Guti, 199 for the Tex Ants. See, Brittany, I wouldn't even know because, I, I, again, I don't, I don't watch baseball that much. I, you know, I, know a new, I know a few players here and there. You know, I try to keep up with it. You know, I know as much as Sports Center tells me. <laughs> James Washington of the Steelers to 75. Matt Ryan, Falcons, 299. But I will be making a concerted effort to watch in the Marlins next season. I was I was kind of watching them throughout the season this year. My thing is I just I just can't I can't do 180 something games or however many games it is that they play in the, the in the majors. That is just ridiculous and my tiny brain does not have the capacity to maintain that attention for that, you know, for that long. There you go, Aaron and Brittany. See, that's what I'm talking about. Get, get that chat going. Who y'all got today, Red Sox or Dodgers? I I just honestly, I don't I really don't care who wins. I just want to see a good World Series. You know, I don't want to see a sweep. I would like for it to be a seven-game series. I want to see some drama. I just want—I just want to see some good baseball, man. That's all. Really, don't care who wins. Oh well, Ra Ra, I know who you're rooting for. Are you gonna go to the? Are you gonna go to game one? Is it game one in Boston? Red Sox, the good guys. I don't know, man. It's universally known that Boston has some of the worst fans. And by worst fans, I mean they are really bad towards the opposing team. You know, throwing beers and all types of other stuff. They're just, they're just not nice people in Boston. $600 bleacher seats, but it's, it's, it's hashtag for the culture, rah rah. Hashtag culture. You know? Go out there, take a selfie, like, yeah, my game won! Only to the, ah, only to Yankee fans. All right, well, fair enough, fair enough. Well, you know, maybe that's true for the Red Sox. Not true for the Patriots. Patriots fans are universally just pretty, pretty, pretty terrible. Except for you, rah rah, you're cool. Yes, Aaron, I would agree. I would definitely agree. Josh Norman Redskins to 299. Nick Chubb to 100 Browns patch. Andrew Luck 75 Colts. Stay classy, Boston. Dante Jackson to 199 Panthers. Andrew Luck 199 Colts. What it do, Big Greg? Gotta love those meetings, dog. Especially when it's a meeting that could be, you know, summarized in like a quick two-minute email. Uh, Saquon Barkley of the Giants, two ninety-nine. Well, Brittany, Red Sox fans in Boston are probably a whole, a whole new creature. Traquan Smith of the Saints to 75. Andrew Luck of the Coast of 299. Now, I've never been to Boston or the New England area. All I can tell you is what I've heard. And you hear, you know, it's, it's, you hear enough of the same things after a while. You know, it goes from being a coincidence to kind of being like, well, if a hundred different people are saying it, then I mean, come on. Jay Ajayi, Eagles to 199. Dalvin Cook of the Vikings to 199. You know, and yeah, Aaron, I never understood that. How can there be any Red Sox fans anywhere other than Boston? Like, okay, I, I, I get it, but I don't get it. Because I'll tell you one thing. Here in Miami, there are way too many New York Jets fans and Patriots fans, and they've never left Miami. 
never left Dade County. But somehow they're Patriots fans or they're freaking like, like, I don't get, like, how? How? You've never been to New England. I know why. Bandwagon. Mike Gesicki Dolphins, 299. So that's why for me, at least here in Miami, whenever somebody tells me they're like a fan of any team other than the Florida teams and they've never left like the state of Florida, my question is why? Why? Demarius Thomas, 149 Red Sox. Mark Walton, 149 for the Bengals. Rookie badge auto. New Mexico living, you just pick a... Yeah, okay, so that one I can understand. You know, if, if you're unfortunate enough to, like, live in one of those states or cities or whatever where where it's, you know, you don't really have a choice, you kind of just got to pick, I can understand. Devonta Freeman, Falcons to 299. Delvin Cook, Vikings, 299. I, you know, Brittany, a friend of mine actually went to Fenway, one of my best friends, uh, went to Boston earlier this year. And he caught a game at Fenway. And he, I don't know how he got, apparently he got tickets pretty cheap because he was like at the third baseline. And dude, not for nothing, I'm not like a huge baseball fan. But just on the pictures and the videos that he was taking for social media and stuff that I was checking out, man, that stadium is, is just, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's a, it's an old ass stadium, but man, so much history, like, Man, I would love to catch a game at Fenway, not for nothing. And of course, I'm rocking my Marlins gear. Come on now. Um, Mahomes, 299 Chiefs. Bradley Chubb, 299 Broncos, rookie patch out. I've said it for a while. I would, I would love to like just travel with my teams and catch, uh, you know, like watch the Dolphins play at Gillette Stadium or watch the Marlins play at Fenway. That would be that would be super sick. I want it like I want to be Marlins man 2.0. You know, shout outs to Marlins man. That dude is awesome. Fenway, one of the eight wonders of the world. I dude, I believe it with that green monster. I I had a chance to go to Wrigley Field earlier this year because I, I well actually not not earlier this year last year I was in Chicago but unfortunately I was not able to go catch a game at Wrigley but that would be awesome I would I really want to visit all the all the venues around the country you know just take like a year off and just follow my team in an RV once I win this Powerball. I didn't play the Powerball. Isn't isn't it today that Powerball? That thing's at like one point six billion dollars. How many of you guys got in with uh, with the rest of your uh, with the rest of your office mates and bought like three hundred dollars worth of, of lottery tickets? Oh yeah yeah yeah, dude! You're you're very welcome, Brittany. You are very welcome. Is, isn't the Marlins one in 03 and I think the Red Sox one in 04 right you know the Marlins doing what they do you know anytime we win a World Series oh well I guess we're too good now let's start all over again and trade all our assets Simi Cubs Jr. 99 Redskins. Jalen Samuels 299 Steelers. Powerball's at 620 million. Yeah, well, listen, don't threaten me with a good time. Shoot. That's 620 more million than I have now. Marcel Aitman Raiders to 149. Bro, if, if I was to win, if I was to win that world, you know, the 1.6 billion, if I only get half, 800 million, I, I want to buy like the Dolphins, man. Demarius Thomas, 299 Broncos. I would gladly lose all that money, but I'll be like, hey, I'm the owner of the Dolphins, yo. Mason Rudolph, 
for the Steelers to uh, 149, the rookie patch auto. Steelers doing very well in this break so far. They are nice looking cards, Jacob. They're, they're even nicer in person. You kind of get a glare with the camera right now. It's not really doing it justice. Uh, Scarborough to 75 for the Cowboys. Deshaun Jackson, 199 bucks. Baker Mayfield, 299 Browns. Jerry McKinnon, 299 Niners. Therese Fountain, 75 Colts. Deontay Burnett to 10 for the Titans. What's up, Jose? As usual, I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll buy the Chargers in the Neverland Ranch? Neverland Ranch is for sale? Antonio Callaway Browns, 299 Does that come with or without the Monkeys? Because if it's without the Monkeys, then no deal. Joshua Jackson, Packers, 299 Brandon Cooks of the Rams, 299 Are the Rams for real? I don't know. I think they're still undefeated. I don't even want to talk about my Dolphins. Uh, Michael Thomas to 25 Saints. Tremaine Edmonds, 299 Bills. Oh, dude. Uh, yo, I would. Yo, hell yeah, Michael. You might be on to something right there. I would pay Dave Chappelle like $100 million to come out with like another 10 episode season of Chappelle Show. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Oh, gotcha, Jacob. Now now I understand what's happening. I'm nosy, so I was just trying to... Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, I, uh, probably not. I mean, you would think that Michael Jackson's estate would, you know, have that thing be some form of, like, historical monument or something, you know? Not for nothing, but that's it's not that's that's freaking Michael Jackson. Like I'm sure uh, Elvis is. I think Elvis also had like this huge ranch or something like that. I think that's also like a historical site. What's haunted? Uh, Neverland Ranch is haunted. Really? You just you if you're real quiet, you just hear hee hee in the back. Oh, bro, I'd be. I would be mud butt, mud butt all day. Graceland, that's what it's called. There it is. That thing that's in Memphis? I'm pretty sure that place is like a national historical monument or something. Jacob, I'm pretty sure he did it, man. A lot, you know, matter of fact, a lot of people came out and said they. You know, that they lied because they were just trying to get money out of Michael. So. But, you know, only who knows? Who, the only people that knows would be Michael and those kids. <laughs> I hate to laugh, but, I mean, what do we know, you know? What the hell do we know? I'll tell you one thing. Go Dolphins. Even though we suck. But we've just been banked, man. We've been injured like crazy this year. Anyway, Keenan Allen of the Chargers to 149. Oh, dude, Jacob, not disputing that at all. And I'm not disputing the fact that the Steelers are crushing this thing. Three straight rookie patch autos for him. This one is Jalen Samuels of the Steelers to 299. That's two Jalen Samuels rookie patch autos so far. In this inner case, Jimmy G. 
to 199 Niners. Yeah, don't don't remind me. Brock Osweiler starting on Thursday. That uh, listen, all I can think is something must be really wrong with Ryan Tannehill. Ben Roethlisberger, 299 Steelers, and not for nothing, Osweiler has been playing solid. Like he hasn't played to the point where I can be like, okay, well he's to blame for the loss. No, he's he's been doing okay. He's he's been doing all right. It, dude, our defense just has been terrible. We can't stop the run. And we're just, dude, we're banged up all over the place. Nick Chubb for the Browns. He's going to be balling to 299. Now with Carlos Hyde gone, he should be getting more touches. TJ Watt, 3 of 10 for the Steelers. Steelers doing very well. Dolphins don't have any receivers, so you know, it doesn't even matter who we have at quarterback because all our receivers right now are hurt. Literally. I don't think we have any receiver right now that's healthy. Knowing the Dolphins, they'll try to pick up Des Bryant. Oh, my God. Kyle Aleta of the Giants to 189. Odell Beckham Jr. of the Giants to 49. You know, they should just put Tannehill at receiver. That's what he played in college. Rice Burkhead of the Patriots to 299, but no, they want to make him a quarterback. Corden Sutton Broncos patch to 100. All right, so what's going to be the final score of tonight's game? Red Sox Dodgers. I'm going to predict a victory for the Red Sox. It's going to go 12 innings. It's going to be a walk-off grand slam for a score of 10 to 6. Zeke Elliott Cowboys tonight. I just, I just want to see I just want to see a high-scoring game. I just want to see dingers cuz you know, chicks dig the long ball. Rashawn Evans of the Titans, 299. I just want to see dingers. MJ Stewart, 149 Buccaronis for the homies. 12A Red Sox. There you go, Jacob. 3 1 Dodgers. Oh, Eric. God, that man, that is. Hayden Hurst of the Ravens to 299. Yo, I, I'm telling you, Aaron, I want to see greatness, dude. I want to see greatness. I don't know if that's ever happened in a World Series. A walk-off Grand Slam. That would be awesome. Ray Ray McLeod of the Bills to 99. Carson went to the Eagles to a 199. I'll tell you, the, be the best World Series I've ever seen took place like two, two years ago. Astros Indians. Oh, wait. Was it Astros Indians or was it the year before that? I think it was the year the Cubs won the World Series. A couple years ago, a few years ago, that it was just a crazy, stupid, awesome World Series. Forty degrees, good old perfect weather for some baseball. Not. Aaron, I just want to see greatness, man. I, I would love to see greatness. I would dude, a perfect game would be awesome. What's more impressive, a no hitter or a perfect game? I just, honestly, I just, I want to see a great game. That's all I want to see. As a fan, without any, you know, horse in the race, as I like to say, I just want to see greatness. I just want to see a, a fun game, a nice, good game. I don't want to see nobody get hurt, you know. 
just want to see a good one. If anyone's keeping count, I'm on box five of the uh, eight total. Julio Jones to 25, Falcons. The dude has like over 800 receiving yards so far this season, and he has yet to see the end zone. That's crazy stat. AJ McCarron to 25, Bills. Lamar Jackson to 50. That's the first one I see of this. Rookie patch auto for the Ravens. Very nice. His mama don't let him sign that often. 12 of 50. Very nice. Yo, Aaron, your uh, your boy, Jokic, put up like 35 points the other night on a 100% field goal uh, percentage, bro. He didn't miss a single shot. And he put up a triple-double. Stupid crazy night. Antonio Brown to 99 Steelers. Dude, the Joker, that guy is very highly underrated in the NBA. That guy's a beast. Kamara, 189 Saints. Probably because he's playing for Denver. David Johnson, Cardinals to 299. MJ Stewart of the Bucks to 199. Kenneth Dixon. Ha, I said Dix. Uh, for the Ravens, rookie patch auto. I did talk to Jason for you, but dude, he is. He's busy with the baby right now. Kenneth Dixon of the Ravens to 50. So he's uh, kind of busy at the moment, kids play. He's been uh, with his baby girl pretty much the entire day. Dealing with some stuff over there. But I did tell him to, you know, to shoot you an email or something. Rashad Penny Seahawks, 299. Dak Prescott Cowboys, 299. Well, listen, Aiden's, he's, he's still a rookie at the end of the day. Like, he's like a 20-year-old kid, man. Jokic is a grown man. Le'Veon Bell Steelers on 49. Khalil Mack to 25. Two-color patch for the uh, for the Raiders. Pretty sweet. Yo, that, that yo, I didn't even watch the Lakers game last night. But I saw the uh, the highlights or whatever. Dude. I, 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 I don't even know how to say this, but dude, LeBron, I hate to say this, but he choked that one for sure. Jaleel Scott Ravens, 299. Gronkowski Patriots, 199. I can't wait till the Patriots suck again. Oh, Julio Jones, 299. Falcons. I can't wait. Oh, speaking of the devil, Tom Brady Patriots, 75. I was going to say, they choked in overtime. Or I should say he choked in overtime. But he hit that crazy-ass three to get him into overtime. But still, though, I mean, come on. They were up by six points with, like, a couple minutes to go in, the, in overtime. You need to win that game. Somehow, some way, you need to figure out how to win that game. My thing is this too. Even even though LeBron missed those free throws, they still had to come back on defense, and they were still up by a point. All they had to do was play defense, and they could not. I mean, dude, I've said it before, and people weren't li people were not listening to me. I'm telling you, the Lakers are not making the playoffs. They're not. Not in the West. Not with that team. You can just you can look at LeBron. The dude is only three games into this season, and he looks gassed. He looks tired already. So if I'm Magic Johnson, I'm on the phones trying to make moves.
I don't know, Aaron. This is a whole new beast, man. In in his entire NBA career, Aaron, in his 16-year NBA career, LeBron has never gone 0-3 to start a season. Never. Now, I'm not pushing the panic button, but I kind of am. Like, you, you got to be... You got to be preemptive with this stuff. Dude, Kawhi is not playing with LeBron. No way. No way in hell. Kawhi wants to be his own man. Honestly, I could see Kawhi staying in Toronto. Because Toronto, they so far, they've been balling. So far, they have been balling. I think they're undefeated so far to start the season. I think they're like 4-0. Devontae Parker of the Dolphins, 299. T.Y. Hilton, Colts, 299. I don't think Kawhi is going to go to, to, to L.A. And if he is, he's not going to, he's not going to the Lakers. He, he, he'd sign with the Clippers before he signs with the Lakers. That dude trying to be his own man. Von Miller for the Broncos, 299. You know, you go to a LeBron team, you're playing, you know, underneath that shadow. Darius Geist to 100 for the Redskins. Little patch right there. Matt Ryan, 199 Falcons. Marshawn Lynch, 149 Raiders. Jim Brown, 75 Browns. We got the color burst. Josh Adams of the Eagles, 299. You know, you know what's funny about that situation, Jacob? Is that Kyrie went to Boston to have his own team. And like now, not for nothing, but they should probably trade Kyrie. Blake Bortles, 189 Jaguars. Oh, very true, Aaron. I, I do agree with you on that. Royce Freeman, 299 Broncos. They have been in every game. What, what, what concerns me is the, we're talking about games that are like 100 plus. So there is minimal defense being played. Patrick Mahomes to 25 for the Chiefs. Mark Ingram of the Saints. The patch autograph. The veteran autograph for the Saints right there. And dude, Aaron, exactly. So now Boston. Boston got good problems. They have too much talent. They're too deep. So if I'm Boston, I would try to trade Kyrie. Emmett Smith, 299 Cowboys. I would definitely try to trade Kyrie. Because maybe next year or whenever, I think he's eligible to leave next year or something like that. He's thinking about going to the Knicks. Deron Payne of the Redskins to 199. Mason Rudolph to 50 for the Steelers. Man, Steelers are crushing this break. There you go. Kyrie definitely stunning, you know, Tatum's growth. And not just his, but, you know, it, it trickles down. You know, those minutes, you got to spread those minutes around. So, Jalen Brown also getting hurt. Terry Rozier. You know, they, they, came, they came up leaps and bounds last year. Because of those injuries to Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. Oh, he said he wants to resign with the with the Celtics. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, luckily for the for Boston, they have one of the best general managers in the game. Danny Ainge is a freaking mastermind. I would like to see them trade for like Anthony Davis or something. Could you imagine that? Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis on the same squad. Oh boy, dude! I would trade. I would trade Kyrie and and maybe even. Uh, What's his name? The, the center they have now, Al Horford. I would trade Al Horford and Kyrie for Anthony Davis.
Now, I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it. Kyrie Irving is one of the most overrated players in NBA history. Like, I know that a lot of players and, you know, fans love Kyrie. But if you, you know, take a step back from the crossovers and the fancy finishes at the rim, what has he truly accomplished on his own? He was the man for many years in Cleveland. Not once did he finish above 500 as the man. He only started winning when LeBron got there. So, in my opinion, man, Kyrie, Kyrie, one-on-one, -on -one, great player. But I think he is, like, the probably the most overrated player in the NBA. Because if he was so awesome, how come those Cavaliers teams never made the playoffs? They never even finished above 500. This is, I was going to say, yeah, he, he, he doesn't play defense. There's a lot of things that he doesn't do. But he's just not, I don't, he's a, I don't know, man. He's, he's Kyrie. Aaron Donald, 149 Rams. You know, I, I don't, I see what people like in him. But to call him one of the greats, I want to say he's garbage. He's definitely not garbage. You know, he can go out and drop 40, point, 40 points on any, any given night. But I wouldn't want him to be my franchise player. He's been the franchise player. And he's proven that he can't win by himself. So I, I I don't know where Kyrie got the mentality. Well, actually, I get it. He wanted to get out of LeBron's shadow, trying to do the thing out there in Boston. But I'm, I'm sure even in Kyrie's mind, he's like, damn, I went out and these boys were better without me. Well, Kyrie got to be, you know, I know he thinks the earth is flat, but I mean, come on. LeGarrette Blount to 299 Lions. David Johnson, 299 Cardinals. Alan Hearns, 99 Cowboys. I will say this about Kyrie. He's got one of the sickest handles I've ever seen. Josh Rosen of the Cardinals. And that, I don't think anybody's arguing that. Kyrie has one of the nicest handles in, like, NBA history. He's so smooth with it. DeAndre Hopkins of the Texans, 199. Auden Tate of the Bengals, 299. I think Devin, I agree. I kind of agree with you on Devin Booker, Aaron. But I don't know. I think he's rated just about right. You know, he's a great offensive player. Cannot stop, cannot stop anybody. Cannot play a lick of defense. But he can drop 50 on you on any given night. Josh Gordon Browns on any night. Deshaun Hamilton of the Broncos to 299 rookie vegetables. Agreed 100% Aaron. Did we just become best friends? Quick, what's your favorite dinosaur? If you said Velociraptor, then we are besties. Sam Bradford, 299 Cardinals. Shaquem Griffin, 149 Seahawks. Man, the Steelers are just pouring it on. Mason Rudolph of the Steelers, rookie patch auto to 149. Broncos, Deshaun Hamilton, 199. Derwin James Chargers, 299. Well, Henry, I will always do a recap at the end of the breaks, buddy. Marquise Goodwin of the Niners to 75. I only recap the hits, though. Peyton Manning of the Colts to 199. If you want to see the whole break in its entirety, well, you got a couple choices. One, you can always go back in the YouTube stream. In case you didn't know, you can go back in a live stream of the two hours on YouTube. That's number one. And number two, and most importantly, we always record our breaks and we always upload them to our YouTube channel. So in case you ever want to see the whole thing, you can always check out the video on YouTube. But yeah, dude, I always recap the hits at the end of the break, Henry. And what I consider hits are the relics, which would be patches, 
and the autograph. So. Oh, dude, Alan, I, Aaron, I, I, I told you the other night I agreed with you. Trey Young is nice. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, call him an MVP candidate or anything yet. He's still severely undersized. Can't play defense. He's going to get bullied, you know, at, with, with his size. You know, let, let Rondo get a hold of him. Man. Or Patrick Beverly, for that matter. But I do think Trey Young was going to be very solid in the league. Michael, there's a few players out there that play defense. Um, Kawhi Leonard in my opinion, is probably the best two-way player. Um, if LeBron feels like it, he could be a shutdown defender. Um, same thing with Kevin Durant. If Kevin Durant felt like it, he could be a lockdown defender. Uh, Anthony Davis, another dude. And he's not even the best defensive center. Rudy Gobert. That guy's a beast. All right, let's finish up this last box here, though. Andrew Luck of the Colts, 299. And uh, carry on Johnson to 99, rookie badge auto for the Lions. This dude had a huge game against the Dolphins uh, this past weekend. So I'm sure that's going for some good uh, moolah. Deshaun Hamilton to 75 Broncos. Plus, most of the, uh, you know, with, with all the changes made to the rules, no hand checking and all that stuff, the game now is is more so tailored toward offense anyway, but they, you know there are a few players here and there that still play defense. Tom Brady, Patriots, one ninety nine. Russell Westbrook, I think, could be a lockdown defender too, if he really put his mind to it. He could sh he could shut anybody down at his position anyway. Philip Rivers of the Chargers, one ninety nine. Alan Lazard, Jaguars, two ninety nine. David Johnson, Cardinals, two ninety nine. What's going on, Dylan G? You know me, baby. Chilling like a villain. Marshawn Lynch of the Raiders, two one ninety nine. Nick Chubb to one hundred. Patch for the Broncos. Stephon Diggs, 299 Vikings. Javon Wims, 149 Bears. Zeke Elliott, 199 Cowboys. Traquan Smith, 299 Saints. Terrell Edmonds, 99 Steelers. Mark Walton, ooh, nice patch on that for the Bengals. Rookie patch auto number to 25. Pretty sweet. Taekwon Lewis, 199 Colts. Kirk Cousins, 299 uh, Vikings to finish this off. All right, so let's recap this bad boy. So for starters, first off, this is uh, kind of bothering me. All right, much better. Okay, so let's start off with the lowest number of parallels that came out of this thing. We have a TJ Watt of the Steelers, 3 of 10. Deontay Burnett Titans, 1 of 10. Dylan G, have you heard of this application called Uber? Maybe you've heard of it? Uh, Browns patch, 100. Cardinals, 75. Redskins, 100. Raiders, 25. Broncos, 100. Colts, 75. 
Browns 100 and the Browns 100. And what you really care about are these, the autos. We got Walton Bengals 25, Johnson Lions 99, Rudolph Steelers 149, Hamilton Broncos 299, Rudolph Steelers 50, Ingram Saints 15, uh, Dixon Ravens 50, Jackson Ravens 50, Chubb Browns 299, Samuel Steelers 299, Rudolph Steelers 149, Samuel Steelers 299, Chubb Broncos 299, Walton Bengals 149, Kuti Texans 199, and Broncos Freeman 99. And that was the break, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.